In this video, let's do a solved example on butterfly spreads. We are given that we want to create a 30, 33, 36 butterfly spread. I am assuming it's a long butterfly spread that we are talking about. The expiry of this butterfly spread is 6 months and the 3 strikes involved are 30, that's my low strike, 33, that's my intermediate strike and 36, that is my high strike. It is given that this butterfly spread is being created using put options and the task at hand is to find that final stock price or maybe even stock prices at which this strategy, this butterfly spread will break even. Okay, So, if I were to denote the stock price prevailing 6 months from today as S sub T, the task at hand is to find that ST at which the profit of my butterfly spread is exactly zero. Okay, Now, to work out this ST, I would need to work out my profit function, how my profit depends on ST. A key input to determining my profit is to determine the cost involved in setting up this butterfly spread. Okay? Please note that although it is given that this particular butterfly spread that we are creating is created using put options, we also know that butterfly spreads can also be created using call options. Put call parity, it tells us that the cost of setting up butterfly spread using call options exactly matches the cost of setting up a butterfly spread using put options. Okay, So, although our butterfly spread is using put options, we can calculate the cost of setting up this butterfly spread using call option premiums which are given to us in the question. Okay, So, let me introduce my notation here. K1, let it be my low strike. K3, let it be my high strike and K2, let it be my intermediate strike. The cost involved to set up this butterfly spread is simply the cost involved in buying the low strike call plus the cost involved in buying the high strike call and we are subsidizing the total cost involved in buying these two options by selling two call options with the intermediate strike. Okay? Quickly plug in these premiums from this table and confirm that the cost involved comes out to 0 0.37 or 37 cents. Now to work out the S sub T at which break even happens, we need to write down or we need to figure out how our profit depends on this S sub T. Okay? Now, please note that there are three strike prices involved, 30, 36 and 33. These three strike prices, they actually break down the interval within which this S sub T can lie into four sub intervals. Okay? And for each of these sub intervals, you can work out what is the payoff of all these options and payoff minus the initial cost we know is the profit okay and that's what we've done here in creating this profit table now if i were to take a look at you know the profits in different sub intervals sub interval 1 and sub interval 4 they are completely ruled out as far as break even is concerned because in these two sub intervals the profit doesn't even depend on st and the profit in these two sub intervals is not zero. For these two sub intervals, what you should do now is that you should try and solve these equations. Okay? Find the ST at which this equation holds good. Check if that ST does lie in this sub interval or not. Again, find the ST for which this equation is true. Check if that ST lies in this sub interval or not. What you will observe is that for this sub interval, 
when st is equal to 30.37 break even happens for this sub interval when st is equal to 35.63 break even happens okay so in the end break even is observed to happen at two possible values of the final realized stock price and this turns out to be the correct answer now a relatively simpler way of solving this question is to approach it graphically so let's do that if i were to plot the payoff diagram of this butterfly spread this is how it will look like okay the dotted plot is the payoff offered by this butterfly spread please note the strikes involved 30 33 and 36 to the left of 30 my payoff is 0 between 30 and 33 my payoff rises linearly to the maximum possible payoff which is three dollars the difference between let's say the intermediate strike and the low strike then between 33 and 36 my payoff drops linearly to zero and then beyond 36 i mean to the right of 36 my payoff is zero okay now to get the plot for the profit as a function of s sub t just take the plot for the payoff and vertically pull it downwards by the cost of this strategy and that we know is 37 cents okay so this vertical distance is 0 0.37 now please note that this line has a slope of 1 okay this line is tilted at a 45 degree angle when I say the slope is 1, it means that for every $1 change in ST, the, the line, it rises by $1. Okay, the rise is 1 for every run of 1. Okay, now this line has a slope of minus 1. Okay, for every increase, for every change in ST by $1, this line drops by one dollar okay so this tells me that this vertical distance is the same as this horizontal distance again this horizontal distance is the same as this vertical distance so break even which i have you know i'm observing in this plot happens at this point and at this point you know we can easily work out the stock prices corresponding to these two points at which break even happens this stock price is very simply 30 plus this distance which i have said is the same as this distance so it is 30 plus 0 0.37 and that is 30.37 similarly this break even it happens at a stock price which is 36 minus this distance which is equal to this vertical distance which is 0.37 so 36 minus 0.37 it gives you 35.63 okay so this graphical approach very quickly tells us that break even happens at 30.37 and 35.63 okay so this solved example was about a butterfly spread